Those things look sturdy to you. Sturdy enough. Hey, be extra careful on these. Oh, hey, look down. No oh, crap. Huh. Remember, extra careful. Thanks. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. About to head into the cave. The cave? Yeah, might lose contact for a bit. Don't get too worried. All right, I'll keep the porch light on for you. All right, call you soon. <laughs> we made it. Quite the detour. Those shoreline assholes were right next to this cave. Yeah, but I think we're the first ones in here. Come on, through here. But I didn't eat a big breakfast. Creepy St. Dismas statues, check. Carved stairs, check. Nathan, I think it's safe to say we're in a pirate cave. Come here, check this out. A little slimy. A handle in here or something. Well, give it a give it a pull. What? Could be a trap. You're already in there. What's the what's the worst that could happen? Uh, I lose my hand. So we'll get you a nice hook. Give it a pull. <sighs> nice hook. All right, here we go. Really? Hello, hello. It's pretty interesting decor. For those who prove worthy, paradise awaits. To those who prove false, behold your grim fate. Yeah, well, I guess Avery was a better pirate than a poet. This... this isn't Avery's. What do you mean? Look. The Rhode Island pirate. Thomas, too. Yeah, but it can't be him. I mean, this is clearly his sigil, but two died attacking the same treasure fleet as Avery. Yeah, well, at least that's what the stories tell us. If this really is two's mark, then that means he's involved in all of this. How? It's a damn good question. <laughs> 